Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about data analytics lifecycle. So, what is data analytics lifecycle? So, it is a process that consists of six basic stages or phases. That is, first data discovery, then second data preparation, then model planning, model building, communication results, and operationalize. Okay. So, I will tell about each and every phase in the next slides. This is the uh, diagram for the data analytics lifecycle and this provides a framework for the best performance of each phase from the creation of the project until its completion okay so data analytics is a science of examining raw data with the purpose of drawing conclusions about the information so let us see the first phase that is the data discovery so this is the first phase of the data analytics lifecycle we set the project's objective and find ways to achieve that okay and this phase means defining the purpose of the data that we have to perform on and how to achieve it by the end of the data analytics lifecycle and data discovery phase consists of identifying critical objectives what the business is trying to discover by mapping out the data okay so that the one who is gonna perform on the given data knows what he or she has to do Okay, so let us go to the next phase. I will change the color of this small description to green. Okay, so let us proceed to the next one. So data preparation. It is the second phase after the data discovery phase and data is prepared by transforming it from the legacy system that is the given system into a data analytics form by using the sandbox. And sandbox is a platform, a scalable platform commonly used by the data scientist for the data pre-processing and data preparation phase of the data analytics lifecycle involves the data preparation which are having the steps like explore pre-process and condition data prior to modeling and analyzing okay and the data preparation and processing phase involves collecting the data then how to process it and condition the data before moving to the model building process and uh, data are loaded in the sandbox in three ways namely ETL, ELT or ETLT. So ETL means extract, transform and load. ELT means extract, load and transform and ETLT means extract, transform, load, transform. Okay. So let us go to the next phase that is model planning. So this is the third phase of the life cycle where the data analytics team members means the whole team makes proper planning of the methods to be adapted and the various workflow that uh, they gonna use for the next process that is model building and model planning is the phase where the data analytics team members have to analyze the quality of the data and find a suitable model for the project okay so let us proceed to the next one that is model building so this is the phase where the team works on developing data sets for training and testing as well as the production purposes okay so over here we can say we train the data or we test the data so training data and testing data you have to keep that in mind so this is based on the planning made in the previous phases that is in the model planning okay so model building is a process where team has to deploy the planned model in a real time environment this allows the analyst to solidify their decision making process by gaining in depth analytical information and if the environment needed for the execution of this model is decided or prepared then more robust environment is uh, given to check for the quality okay and this is applied accordingly as per the customer or the stakeholders needs okay so once the model is tested we will go to the next phase that is communicate results this is the fifth phase of the life cycle of data analytics in this phase we check the results of the project to find whether it is a success or a failure then the result is scrutinized scrutinized means checked carefully by the entire team with the stakeholders to draw key findings and summarizing it and in this communicate results phase the business or organizational values are quantified and an elaborative narrative 
on the key findings is prepared so that we can deliver the final report in the next phase that is in the sixth phase of the data analytics life cycle that is the team delivers final report prepared by the team along with the briefing the source code is also given and all the related technical documents that is uh, for the agreement or any other documents that were specified for the project okay so let us proceed to the sixth phase of the data analytics life cycle that is operationalize so in this phase the team delivers the final report prepared by the entire team along with the briefings the source code is also given to the user customer or the stakeholder and all the technical documents are also given to them that is the agreement or other important documents this phase also involves running this pilot project that has been submitted by the team okay so we run this pilot project to implement this model and test it in the real time environment and if the stakeholder or the customer is satisfied then he may close the deal or if he likes to have some changes then he can tell us about it and this model leads to better decision making and in turn adds value to the individuals customers business sectors or other organizations and as soon the team prepares a detailed report including the key findings documents and briefing the data analytics life cycle almost comes to an end okay so we can say in this step we check the data analytics framework and if it is effective then we submit the final reports to the stakeholders and what is it uh, in the data analytics frameworks that are the presentation layer analytics layer data management layer and the data connection layer okay and if all of these are like good and satisfy the needs of the customer or the stakeholder then the final reports are given to them okay i have given each and every description of this each phases with some small key points you can take a screenshot right now so thank you everyone for watching the video do like share and subscribe also comment down below if you are having any doubts and if you want to access complete video series on a particular programming language then go to my playlist section or you can just click on the playlist link inside the description of this video and even if you are from a non coder background and you see those videos and practice it with me you can become a pro programmer for sure so see you all in the next video till then study more worry less and all the best for your upcoming exams bye bye